Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but maybe you have some fitness goals for the new year and maybe you're kind of new to exercising and you don't exactly know what to do. So I would like to invite you to consider the idea of a group exercise class. I personally love group exercise and if you don't exactly know what to do or if you haven't worked out much, classes are a really, really great way to start. Um, first of all, there's an instructor and they will guide you through a good balanced workout. Um, studies have shown that the benefits of group exercise aside from physical benefits, emotional benefits and mental benefits are just so much greater when you do group exercise as opposed to exercising alone. I'll link some studies below. Um, so if you're if it's your first time, I just want to talk you through a few things. I don't want you to feel intimidated. Uh, you don't have to bring anything, just show up, maybe bring a bottle of water, uh, wear something comfortable, sneakers that you're comfortable in, clothes that you can move in. You don't have to start with anything fancy. Um, get there early to set up your equipment and don't stand in like the very back in the corner where you can't see anybody and nobody can see you, um, preferably stand where you can see the instructor and see what's going on. Um, what I would definitely recommend if it's your first time is tell the instructor that you're new. They want to help. They want everybody to um, be safe and not get injured. So if you tell them that you're new, they will help you set up your equipment. They'll help you uh, set up whatever you need and they'll keep an extra close eye on you throughout the class not to single you out but to make sure you're doing everything right and to make sure you don't get hurt so I would definitely uh, recommend telling the instructor ahead of time I personally used to be a group exercise instructor uh, for many, many years, from 2005 to like 2011 or 2012. Um, my certification has since lapsed, uh, but I still go to group exercise classes all the time. And uh, I just want to show you a couple of basics for if you're going to a body pump class. Now, this is relevant to any kind of weightlifting class. I just want to show you a couple of basic moves. So let's go to the gym. Come on. Okay, so when you get to the gym, you'll probably see a variety of weights. I would start with something kind of intermediate and maybe take some smaller weights and heavier weights to your station so you can change them out between tracks as you see fit. You just slide the weight on, slide the clamp on, and twist, or you might have the grippy clamps. Different gyms have different clamps. Okay, so I'm about to show you 10 basic moves to help you get started at a body pump class. You want to stand with your feet hip distance apart, check yourself out in the mirror, your hips might not be where you think, and sit back as if you're sitting in a chair. You don't want your knees to come too far forward and you want to dip from the hips, not from the chest. When you lay on the step, make sure your head is not hanging off the back and your back is imprinted into the step. It might even help to put your feet on the step if necessary. Keep the weight straight up over your chest, not swinging up over your head or over your belly, just right above your chest. For the clean and press, bend your knees slightly as you lift the weight and as you catch it again, and keep the bar nice and close to your body. You don't want it swinging out in front of you. For the deadlift, keep your legs straight, soft bend in the knees, don't lock them out. Chest proud, eyes forward, don't round the back. You really want to focus on keeping the elbows close to the body and squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you do a small squat and then squeeze. You want to keep the weight close to your body so that it hits right at your belly button. Bend at the elbows, dip the booty. If you don't bend the elbows, you're going to hurt your shoulders, so really bend. So keep your wrist straight, elbows close to the body for a full range of motion. You don't need to twist the wrists or lift the elbows, really. Take a big step back, come up high on that back toe, and drop your knee straight down. You want both knees to get to a 90 degree angle. You don't want your front knee to come forward, you don't really want to bend at the waist, and you need to make sure your feet are far enough apart. Keep your wrist straight and really lift from the elbows. You don't want to come above the chest line and you don't want to swing away from your body. Bend your knees slightly when you push and catch the weight and push the bar straight above you, not out in front of you. 
At the end of the class, clean up any equipment you might have used and put it all back just the way you found it. I so hope you guys found this helpful and I really hope you get to try a group exercise class soon. They're so, so much fun. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Bye.